हेलो फ्रेंड्स इफ यू आर फ्रॉम फार्मा इंडस्ट्री यू विल बी नोइंग द पेन ऑफ इंसिडेंस इफ एनी ऑफ द इंसिडेंस हैपन बिकॉज ऑफ एनालिटिकल और और इंस्ट्रूमेंटल और प्रिपरेशन मिस्टेक इंसिडेंस प्लेज अ वेरी मेजर रोल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रिड्यूस द इंसिडेंस इन यू विज विजिबल स्पेक्ट्रो फोटोमीटर दिस वीडियो इज फॉर यू माई सेल्फ फारूक सिद्दीके आई एम इन दिस इंडस्ट्री फ्रॉम ट्वेल्व ईयर्स एंड हैव फेस मैनी इशूज एंड मैनी प्रॉब्लम हैज बीन रिजॉल्व दिस वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू स्पेसिफिकली अबाउट यू वी विजिबल स्पेक्ट्रो फोटोमीटर्स हाउ वी कैन रिड्यूस इंसिडेंट्स बाय जस्ट फोर स्टेप्स दिस फोर स्टेप्स इफ यू टेक अ प्रिकॉशंस ऑफ दिस फोर स्टेप्स योर मोस्ट ऑफ द इंसिडेंट्स will be reduce so let's get started what are these four steps in uv visible spectrophotometer if there is no issue with your instrument and your preparation technique there is a major thing which we never take care is about covets covets plays a ma major role where most of the incidents has been occurred and which will help you to reduce so i will explain you how we can handle covets in a proper way and what are the advantages and disadvantages and small mistakes which has been performed while handling covets so covets plays a very important role when analysis to be performed in uv visible spectrophotometer as i said analysis can be done in three mode either in uv mode visible mode or both uv visible mode range of spectrophotometer it depends on model to model it varies from 190 to 1100 sometimes 200 to 190 it is very specific to the uv visible spectrophotometer what model you are selecting ideal range of uv visible spectrophotometer or the analysis which is performed majority is from 190 to 900 range depend upon your sample matrix your product your lambda max you choose the range either in photometric or spectrum range since this is uv visible spectrophotometer so your uv range is from 190 to 380 and your visible range is from 900 to 340 there is a overlap region or you can say there is a range where uv and visible get overlap that is 340 to 380 nanometer in this range this there is a high chances of noise so you have to be very much specific the change over range of your product if your lambda max is is somewhere in this range between this range 340 to 380 you have to take care where your switch change over range which is which can be changed in software have to be optimized if it is not optimized you will get a noise in this particular region and the results what you are going to obtain will be not proper so now i will speak about covets covets is available in different different material it is available in plastic glass and quartz so if you are having a product and the lambda max lies only in uv region you can use glass if you are interested only for the visible region you can use plastic and if you want to if a lambda max lies in both the region uv and visible region it is preferred to use quartz quartz is the best material which can reduce the noise and have lots of advantages while analysis of uv visible spectrophotometer so i will recommend you always use quartz covets for the analysis don't use plastic or glass this may uh this may increase your noise this may give bad results so it is always preferred to use quartz covets covets are of two types one is uh, certified and one is non certified so in not certified you are very much assured because it is certified from the uh, vendor they will give you the specific range nanometer what is the transmittance range 
available and what what is the transfer is you are going to obtain in this in non certified you will not get any kind of certificate but can be used for uh, analysis purpose it depends if you are getting a results it can be used if your results are not okay it is recommended to switch to certified one step to reduce or the mistake which analysts do mostly this is happen when the analyst is new and he is not aware or he is using for the first time regarding covets wall you will see the wall of covets one side it will be transparent one side it will be dense so it is recommended that the transparent side of the covets must be placed in such a way that the light from the source passes to the sample and goes to the detector if you place the dense side of the covets into the sample compartment the absorbance reading will be not good this will give you the wrong results your absorbance will be too high because light is not passing to the detector in that case or very less light will be uh, reaching to the detector so you will not get the proper result the first mistake what new analyst or by mistake it happens that the dense side is been placed in the sample compartment of the covets and it get the result is been varied and uh, incidents may happen second thing and the important thing is cleaning of covet the more clean your covets is the more accurate result you will be obtain depending upon the sample matrix depending upon your um, product your sample matrix changes sometimes it will be high viscous sometimes it will be volatile sometimes it will be uh, more sticky the kind of sample so it is always recommended once the analysis is been performed you must clean this covets with solvent preferably you can use methanol you can use ip to clean this and after cleaning this you have to dry it and then preserve it in a proper box if you fail to do the cleaning at a regular interval or after the analysis there is a high chances that the analysis which you have performed earlier the contamination of that particular sample will get mixed with the analysis which you are going to perform now and the result which you are trying to get will not be accurate it will contaminate this particular sample and the results will vary so it is highly recommended to clean the covets after each and every analysis once the analysis has been done third thing is about scratches whenever the analysis is been performed in uv visible spectrophotometer it is it is a habit or it is recommended that your walls of covets must be clean with a tissue paper now the tissue paper used here is of different kind people take it lightly and sometimes they use normal tissue paper and sometimes butter paper or some something different material it is always recommended to use lint free tissue paper normal tissue paper or butter paper you will see there is it is it is rough and having a dotted surface and because of this roughness when you clean the walls of this transparent side of this covets the scratches happens at the walls and there is a high chances this scratches will degrade the quality of covets and you will feel and the results which you are trying to get will get will be not proper so this also plays a very important while cleaning of your covets so always use lint free tissue paper do not use rough kind of surface or rough kind of material to clean the uh, surface of the covets because initially you will not face uh, this issue but as, as a longer time as a long longer period you will see the effect st uh, that started because it is working on the light principle so light gets scattered in a very um, so light gets scattered and you will not get a proper results in that fourth thing is the quantity to be filled in covet most of the time analysts either fill completely till the top of the covet the sample has been filled to the top of the covet and sometime it happens they fill half the way or half the covets has been filled so the light 
beam which passes through the sample compartment if it is not proper you will not get a proper result so you must make a sure that the, your covets is approximate or almost three fourth must be filled of the covet size if you are having a covets you make sure that three fourth of the uh, covets is been filled if it is half your there is a chances you will not uh, get a proper result and if it completely filled there is a chance it will get spillage and that spillage will come on the outer body of the cell outer body of the uh, covet and you will not get a proper result also this will contaminate if it is overfilled sometime analysts use a tissue paper to reduce the, uh, <laughs> to reduce it with the help of tissue paper this is also not recommended and it avoids uh, means if it is completely filled the spillage chances of spillage in the sample compartment is high so your sample compartment is also getting uh, dirty in this case so avoid spillage by completely filling the covets now the bonus point how you can check or make assure that your covets is good there is a test called cell test you can perform this cell test before the analysis or you can make a frequency every fortnightly or monthly to check the covets performance you, the covet performance is already mentioned in pharmacopoeia method and most of the industry has been using this technique to check whether the covets is playing uh, is interfering or not creating any issue so by this test you will be very much clear that your cell or the analysis which you are going to perform will be because of covets you will not face any kind of issue so to perform this cell test you have to fill a covets with hplc grade water and you have to run a blank with the air as a background and you replace this filled water into the sample compartment and check the transmittance at different different nanometers if your range is from 190 to 800 whatever the analysis range you are going to perform you make sure that all this transmittance range is maintained or it is having a high transmittance if your transmittance is the more more the transmittance more is the uh, covert quality more is the transmittance more is the results you are going to get accurate hope this video is helpful for you and will help you to reduce the incidence because of the small mistakes which we are performing day to day activity if you want to see such videos you can uh, comment in the comment section and if you have any ideas or if you want to share something with me you are most welcome thank you this is Farooq Siddiqui signing off